so impressed that this is for the public. And that, to me, means an enormous amount because uh, in the States, there's not as much interest as we'd all like to see. And I think given that technology is changing your future as well as mine, uh, I think it's something that you all need to know. What are the big problems out there? And one of the biggest problems that we saw is that the current drug development model is broken. You talk to CEOs of major pharmaceutical companies and you ask them, what's their vision? Their vision is to fail quickly and cheaply. It's kind of sad, but that is true. It is so expensive and it, and it gets so far and they fail so often. And some of you may be familiar with Moore's Law. This has shown that there's exponential growth, that computer power doubles every 18 months since 1971 as microchips get packed in and more and more efficient. What you probably have never heard of is called e -Room's Law, which is Moore's Law backwards which is that the number of medicine invented has halved every nine years since 1950, even though funding for research has gone like that. This is real, and this is really a major problem. Why is the model broken? Well, it currently costs over $2 million to, to, to test a single compound. It's, if you culture cells and dishes, they don't function anything like in our bodies. Animal studies are what are used now. They take years to complete. Innumerable animal lives are lost, so they're major ethical issues. But the real problem is that the results, more often than not, do not predict what happens in humans. If I were to tell my students to design their experiments based on failure, it, it, it really wouldn't work so well. That is the way the industry works around the world.